It's official, Canada has a new union. The Canadian Auto Workers Union and the Communication, Energy and Paper Workers Union have merged. It means several organizations in Prince George will be represented by Unifor. Like so many things, Going Bigger has its pros and cons. Unionized members in such operations as Northwood Pulp are now part of a new union. It's called Unifor and it is now 300,000 members strong and represents several different sectors. Everything from the pulp and paper industry to auto workers. The move represents strength in numbers. The main idea behind this merger is to create a union in Canada that has the resources to be able to uh, you know, defend the rights of working Canadians. Uh, against the interests of some of these very large corporations that in some cases aren't even on Canadian soil. So I think that that's driving it. Um, and of course there's positives and negatives to every every change like that. So. Back in 2004, the former IWA merged with an unusual bedfellow, the United Steelworkers. With the ranks within the IWA dwindling, that strength was exactly why the merger was sought. Their lobbying power, whether it be with provincial, federal governments, uh, all those types of things. Uh, if you're in negotiations, being able to uh, help out putting pressure on companies to get good deals for the workers, that type of thing, they have a, a far-reaching uh, hand right across the globe. Since the merger, the Steel Workers Union has brought operations like Indaco Mines into the fold, as well as several mining operations in Tumbler Ridge. Being the steel workers may have helped. The IWA was traditionally wood uh, throughout. Uh, mind you, we had some car dealerships and different other organizations in. But uh, mining uh, quite often goes to the steel workers. So I'm sure when uh, these members decided to join a union and, uh, and come forward, then the steel workers obviously uh, would have been a selling point for those members to, uh, to join the union. However, Aaron Ekman says there is a danger, or at least the perception of it, with joining a giant union. I think some folks might make the case that as a union gets larger, uh, sort of the local autonomy or the local identity uh, is reduced somewhat and, and, and I think you know that's what any union is having to balance when they make these decisions to, uh, to merge uh, a, as the case may be. Ekman says in some cases the smaller locals issues may get watered down particularly at a national level. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.